Nigeria militants burn to death motorists as they sleep in their cars. Suspected militant Islamists have killed at least 30 people and abducted women and children in a raid in northeastern Nigeria, officials say. News script from BBC. Most of the victims were travelers who were burnt to death while sleeping in their vehicles during an overnight stop, officials added. The attack took place in Aono town on a major highway in Borno state. All clips may not represent the story. Militant Islamist group Boko Haram and its offshoots have waged a brutal insurgency in Nigeria since 2009. About 35,000 people have been killed, more than 2 million have been left homeless and hundreds have been abducted in the conflict. Watch to learn English as good as your mother tongue with latest world news. Nigeria's government has repeatedly said that the militants have been defeated, but attacks continue. Borno State Governor Babagana Zulum looked visibly shaken when he saw the charred bodies during a visit to Aono following Sunday night's attack, Nigeria's privately owned This Day news site reports. The militants came in trucks mounted with heavy weapons, before killing, burning, and looting, state government spokesman Ahmed Abdurrahman Bundi was quoted by AFP news agency as saying. The assailants killed not less than 30 people who are mostly motorists and destroyed 18 vehicles, the governor's office said in a statement. It also confirmed the abduction of women and children, but did not give a number. Residents said most of the victims were traveling to the state capital, Maiduguri, but were forced to sleep in Aono, about 25 kilometers 16 miles away, because the military had shut the road leading into the city. The military has not yet commented. Maiduguri was once the headquarters of Boko Haram, but government forces eventually drove the group out of the city. It is unclear whether the assault was carried out by Boko Haram or a breakaway faction linked to the Islamic State group. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.